Hello, everyone. This is Jim Okrasinski with your Week 16 screencast video. So, um, as always, I will begin with the weekly schedule, and then I'll follow that up with the introduction of the multimodal assignment. This will be your last assignment for the semester. Um, so, on Tuesday, the 4th, the final draft of the research essay is due. Everybody's had some, well, I would say we, the overall course has had some robust peer review activity. I have provided feedback on all first drafts that were uploaded to Canvas for assessment. On um, Friday, we'll have the lecture video I will cover in that, in that particular video, I will cover the multi, more about the multimodal assignment. And it's beginning to wind down the semester once the final research essay draft is uh, completed. So let's get to the module here. The multimodal module is scroll down and just get to and get to the instructions first. I think we'll go that way. Okay, so for the instructions for the multimodal project is where you will repurpose your research essay assignment slash topic. Um, the project is designed for you to rethink and repurpose your topic to a more visual form. In other words, you can create a single web page through Weebly or you can use Google Sites, which is available through our drive folder. You can create a video if you would like to shoot a video. Um, if you're into podcasts, you can create your own podcast. Um, ideally, many of you had uh, individuals that you interviewed for your uh, annotated bibliography and your research essay. You may want to revisit that and do a little bit more in depth and uh, record a podcast. And I can provide some further um, guidance on the length on that podcast as, I move, as we move through the next couple of weeks. Also, you can create an infographic. And here I have a couple of offerings. You can use PictoChart or Vengage. I've also included a link to Weebly if you're used to working with Weebly as opposed to Google Sites. Let me explain here that the platform does not matter to me. If you have something out there that you have used in the past to create a multimodal genre, then by all means, you can use that. Um, if you have any questions about your particular platform or what you want to do, um, that's entirely up to you. You can you know, send me an email. Um, this is where you get to not only repurpose your research as a topic, but you also can uh, just be creative in, in how you want to go about, um, you know, presenting a multimodal uh, genre for your topic. All right. So also along with the multimodal aspect, you're going to provide a one page reflection on the project. And I have some prompts here where you can just basically guide you through the reflection process. I figure a one page reflection, double space should be somewhere around 300, 350 words um, that would work well. Um, both links would be submitted to the assignment. Let me get to the assignment. Upload, that's right, you're gonna, you gotta remember to upload the published link and the accessible GDoc and I have already created a folder in our course drive folder, both for uh, sections 318 and 319. All right, so let me get back and back. Over the next uh, lecture video or two, I will uh, review some of the information that Ballinger has included about repurposing your uh, particular topic. There are specific pages, little boxes in the textbook. I've listed those out here, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, big ones, several pages, <clears throat> excuse me, in chapter four and also chapter five. And they'll be the topic of uh, some of the lecture videos that'll be coming up. So that'll give you a little guidance on how to rethink your particular project. So this is meant to be a fun, and creative project at the end of the semester. It is worth 100 points or 10% of your course grade. Um, if you have any questions about this uh, going into next week, I will let me know. I will try to find some um, examples from prior classes uh, in not only uh, past Canvas courses, 
but also uh, from some of my uh, dry material, okay? So, uh, good luck. And let me know if you have any questions or issues.